and welcome to the adventures of Siberia. We are playing Space Engineers and this is a tutorial on how to make a mouse controlled crane, in this case a welder, but you can do other things, drillers, grinders, up to you. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. I want to start talking to you guys about the build itself. So we are actually going to reconstruct this entire thing. So let me set up my little platform here and we'll get right on it. Okay, so I have a little platform here and this resembles, let's say, your rover or your base. So you have power, you have a cargo or a conveyor point connection. And then I went ahead and put a programmable block here. Um, we will need one for later on. But you want to get started with an advanced rotor. And then on top of the advanced rotor, you want to go ahead with a conveyor junction. And I like to go with my cockpit at about right here. Now, there's no right or wrong way on how to do this. I'm showing you the one way that I do know. And I do know works uh, really well as far as clang and stuff like that. So I want to go ahead and place my first hinge right there on the conveyor and then I want to set up my second hinge right above the cockpit. So we're going to go one block above the cockpit and then I will set up my hinge like so. So this is the basic setup for getting started. Now, one of the important things here is we're going to start attaching things to these hinges. So it's very important that you lock it. So I'm using uh, Build Vision here. Uh, just go ahead and lock it. You can go into your K menu and you can do it that way. So uh, hinge lock, where is it? Here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and lock this one and this one here as well. So they are both locked. Now, I am going to place my first piston that is going to be part of the actual script that's going to go here. So it's very important that we name this one. Now, it doesn't matter what you name it as long as you know that that's the function of this piston. So I like to, because this is the piston that is going to push up, name this one support. So let's just name that one support for now. Um, and then I am going to go ahead and give myself some spacing here before I go ahead with my piston. I just happen to know how long I want it and, and, and how this is gonna work. So I want my first piston and then my second piston. Um, so good thing we locked them. See, they're holding up really well. Now, the the, the next step is to connect this piston at the bottom, the support piston, to the boom piston. So let's go ahead and actually rename these guys. And as a matter of fact, because they are going to work together, let's put them in, the, in a group. So it's these two pistons here. I'm going to make a group called, uh, let's call it boom pistons. Okay, actually just to keep it in order, let me go ahead and name it like I did the other one. So piston, boom. So we'll have piston, whatever, piston, whatever. And so there we have it. Uh, so piston support, piston, boom, so far. So now what we need to do is connect these guys together so that they can start supporting each other. So again, we are going to need a hinge. Now this hinge, you want to remove the head okay the hinge part and you want to place that hinge part right there the way I remember it is one two three four five blocks and then you get your it's on the fifth block sorry I almost made a mistake that so yeah one two three four and five it's on the fifth one now what you can do you can hop into your um, cockpit there and you can go ahead and access this uh, hinge right here. I'm gonna go ahead and do it with my build vision so we can see what's actually happening. 
So I'm going to go ahead and just increase the velocity here and also unlock it. Okay, velocity wrong way. So let's go ahead and bring that hinge close to the, the hinge part there. I'm going to do my best to try to line it up, go over here. I think we can go a little bit higher. Uh, looks about good right there. All right, I'm just going to trust it. Same thing, we can go ahead and extend the piston. There we have it. And this is the support piston and go ahead and stop it. It looks like it's right about at the middle there. And then this is where you kind of want to go ahead and push escape and go ahead and save your game really quickly. Um, so when you're dealing with these connection points, especially with hinges and rotors, when they are connecting, when they are attaching, which is what we need to do here, sometimes things could happen. So don't get discouraged if it explodes, but hopefully, fingers crossed, it works. Here we go. Boom. Okay. The God of Clang was kind enough to us today. So now the next part that I want to do is I want to go ahead and place another hinge here. And this is going to be, let's call this the, the wrist, the wrist of the crane here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and name that one wrist. And then I'm going to go ahead and name this rotor right here, wrist as well. At, at the very end there, wrist. So I know which ones those are. And from this point on, you can put whatever you like here uh, that is conveyored at this point. So let's go with a welder in this case. You can put a drill there, you can put a grinder up to you. So as far as the build itself, this is all that you need. So now that we're done with the actual build, these are the names of all the parts that we have named along the way, uh, with the exception of the advanced rotor rotate down there that I had forgot. So let's just go ahead and do a quick recap. You can uh, always pause this video uh, as you're progressing here. So advanced rotor rotate, we have the piston support. Uh, these two pistons are piston boom. They're in the group called boom. Uh, hinge wrist and advanced rotor wrist. Um, so now what we can do is go ahead and put all of those into the actual script. So let's jump right in here. You want to go ahead and go into your programmable block right here and I like to name mine so I know what it's uh, called on the base I'm just gonna go ahead and write crane on here so I know that that's the script that we're working with you're gonna go ahead and want to click on edit now the script will be linked on the description of the video if you don't already have it you might want to grab that browse scripts uh, this one is called I believe it was piston cockpit yeah, cockpit piston, rotor and hinge controller. So this is the name of the script that you're gonna be wanting to work with. So once you have it open here, go ahead and click open to uh, copy to editor and it will land you on this page right here. Feel free to read all this stuff, it's very helpful. So on the top section here, we're talking about the speed of whatever you're setting up to. I feel that these are fine for what I'm doing, so I'm not going to play around with that. What we're really looking at is right here. So we're looking at where it says string AD name equals A and D pistons. So basically what this is saying is what do you want your A and D to control? Put it in between the quotations here. So on this case, right, it would be A and D. I would like to have that be the hinge wrist and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, for DWS that was the group of the piston so let's do piston boom uh, Q and E would be the advanced rotor wrist 
Now for C, we're gonna leave blank. I don't really need an extra command. That's completely up to you to be creative with. So just know you do have an extra command to use here. Um, I know my Y axis is um, advanced rotor rotate. And then for my X, mouse it would be the support piston so piston support so assuming that I spelled everything right I'm gonna go ahead and check code press ok ok uh, should I recompile uh, let's go ahead and jump into the cockpit here and see if we did everything correct up down left right forward backwards left, right, Q, and E. So there you have it. You have yourself a nice crane that you can work with um, and do anything you like with. All right, guys, thank you so very much for following along on this tutorial. Guys, please feel free to leave a like and also hit that subscription button. Thank you so very much. Let me know in the comments if there's any questions in regards to this. I do respond to those um, whenever I'm not at work, but I do love talking to you guys. So yeah, thank you guys so very, very much. Um, if you guys want to, I can always post this onto the Steam Workshop. Leave in the comments on there if you'd like to see one of these on there. And um, thanks so very much for watching, guys. Have a great one. Bye-bye now.